running to the left now. I run to the left. I can't get steady. I'm shooting through the grass. If you can see him shoot. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Right, I'm gonna take him. I can't stand up because if I do, he'll see me, so you're just gonna have to shoot through the grass. Okay. Let me know when you're gonna shoot. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yep. I've been through a thunderstorm all day. My truck is covered in mud. So we're on this dirt road in four wheel drive just to try to get through here. Ty's got the spotter set up and uh, we finally spotted our first antelope of the day. It, he, he looks to be a real good, good buck. He's got good um, prongs off the front, but we're trying to get a better judge on, on exactly how tall he is. Nice to see an antelope finally.
So that's what you get with public land hunting is that crap. You, you can't even explain that to people like, what are you doing? Because they just don't get it. They just don't comprehend it. You're going to set up where you're supposed to hunt antelope rather than down in the sage flats or even back home to sight your rifle in on opening day of antelope season that for some people takes 18 years to draw and you're going to set your target up on the corner of a freaking road that you cannot see around and i mean we just drove by his target which was like 100 yards and his holes were six inches high at 100. so nailed uh, it that's why i'm wearing this bright ass Sweatshirt. Stay safe out there, my friends. <laughs>
camera. It's awesome, dude. Yeah, come here. Hey, five. Okay, hey, five. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That buck is beautiful. Yeah. So that was really tough for me, man. We had so much invested in the stock. We couldn't see him for two hours. We didn't know what he looked like. Those does got spooky and kicked out on us, but we tied this little bag, this white bag on there, kept there, kept them cool. They flanked us, they circled around. We got the spotter on him. Ty was really excited because he, he comes way out wide and curls up, and then he's got really good cutters, but at 60 yards and a spotting scope, I'm like, let's not get too excited. I want to make sure everything's going to score okay. We kind of thought about it. Ty's like, if it gets you excited, I'm like, this whole hunt, we've been looking for a bigger, bigger buck, you know, something that that is well above the the ears. And we've got intel on a big buck on the other side of the unit we were going to try to go to find tonight. And uh, the more I looked at him, man, he just goes way out wide, hooks in, big cutters from the side. I'm gonna, I'm really happy with this buck. 100 yards, six and a half creed more. Folded him up, tagged out of my first antelope, 18 year tag. <laughs> <laughs> 18 years I've been waiting for that tag. That's called a rock dive. And I think we got a good Oregon pronghorn buck down, man. I'm stoked. <laughs> Look at that buck, dude. That's an awesome buck. By far the biggest buck we've seen on this trip. Wow. Oh, we got him in the <laughs> Good job, huh? years to get this tag and I think it was worth it. It was an epic stock, no shooting from the road or anything like that. This was a real hunt. Dang dude. That is a stud. That is way better looking than it was from uh, far away. Look at that. Yeah. Those are horns. Yeah, man. Thanks buddy. <laughs> that is a beautiful. Look how big he is man. Got it. Huge. Awesome man. Oh wow. a mile it was supposed to be just a short little jaunt to see how big he was but I'm so stoked man 18 years is a long time to wait for a tag and I had a lot of anxiety about it and it exceeded all expectations the fact that my brother originally was gonna come then he couldn't make it out here from Tennessee and then my dad ended up having a surgery scheduled so Ty made it out here and we did this together and we had more fun than you could have in like 36 hours so uh, just a damn good day and we're trying to beat it back to the truck before the rain starts out of these storms again. So, not going to put in for that long of a hunt, a tag in Oregon again, so hopefully we can do this again soon. <laughs>